Hi there, it's Chris here with selfmadenewbie.com and in this video we're going to go through the best digital photo frames currently out there today. Now I've kept this list as comprehensive as possible, narrowing it down to my absolute favorite top five picks. So no matter what you're looking for, there'll definitely be something on this list for you. So before we jump in, drop a like and subscribe and hit the bell to be updated with new videos. All right, as usual, I'm gonna skip the fluff and just jump right into my recommendations. If you wanna confirm what they are, go down in the description there and check out that list to ensure you get the best price. All right, the first one, okay. So the first one is gonna to go to my recommendation for my personal favorite, and this is the PixStar Wi-Fi Cloud Digital Photo Frame. So diving into the world of digital elegance and quite frankly, a bit of technological wizardry. The PixStar Wi-Fi Cloud Digital Photo Frame, and yes, it is, in my opinion, the best photo frame overall because who wouldn't want their grandma's face in HD, right? So key features, the resolution and screen. We're talking 1024 by 768 pixels of sheer beauty. That's like having a miniature cinema right in your living room, but for pictures. And it's 15 inches by 11 inches of prime real estate. So no touch screen though, because uh, we're all about those old school vibes. Connectivity, it is practically social media royalty. It's got Wi-Fi, so it can connect to Google Photos, Facebook, Instagram, and basically the entire internet. It's the Kevin Bacon of photo frames, six degrees of separation and all that. Storage and extras, four gig of built-in storage, which is basically a treasure chest for your pictures. And it's got a remote because who's got time to get up and press buttons? Not me, that's who. Fun and games, a motion sensor, so it knows when you're ignoring it. A music player because pictures are great, but pictures with a soundtrack? chef's kiss and it's got games so when you're tired of adulting you can kick back with some sudoku practicality it can hold up to 25 frames on one account that's like having a digital family reunion without the awkward small talk and it's got usb and sd slots for when you want to go old school and actually insert something to show your photos so who's it for well if you're someone who's got more photos than sense, or you just really like showing off how photogenic your pet is, then this is the frame for you. It's perfect for social butterflies, tech enthusiasts, or anyone who wants to have their cake and eat it when it comes to showing off their photographic exploits. The next one is my recommendation for the best budget option, and this is the Atatat digital photo frame. Now this is the budget option, but let me tell you, it's like finding a diamond in a thrift shop. Rare, but satisfying. Some of the key features are this. Resolution and screen, 1920 by 1080 pixels packed into this. It's like having a miniature art gallery right in your home. It's 8.9 by 6.42 inches of pure unadulterated picture joy. No Wi-Fi and no touch screen though, because let's face it, we all need a break from the digital world sometimes. Connectivity and storage. Well, this one is a bit of a lone wolf. No cloud services, no built-in storage, but it does play well with USBs and SD cards, as long as they meet its very particular standards. It's the digital photo frame equivalent of a gourmet chef. It only works with the finest ingredients. Extras, well, a remote control, because even on a budget, we are living in a lap of luxury. A music player and video capability, so you can have a full multimedia experience on a shoestring budget. And it's got calendar utilities, because who does doesn't need to know what day it is. So who's it for? Well, this is perfect for anyone who thinks Wi-Fi is just a bit too 21st century. It's ideal for the tech averse, the bargain hunters, and anyone who thinks setting up new gadgets should be as easy as making a cup of tea. The screen is small but mighty and the high res ensures your photos look top notch. Just remember this frame has about as much memory as I do after a night out, so make sure you've got a decent SD card or USB drive. The next one on the list is my recommendation for the best quality, and this is the Aura Mason Lux frame. So this digital photo frame is practically dressed in a tuxedo and sipping on champagne. If the previous frames were economy class, this one is flying first class with a glass of bubbly and a smirk on its face. Some of the key features, the resolution and screen, we're not messing about here. 2048 by 1536 pixels, that's more pixels than there are sheep in New Zealand. And all of that in a compact 9.7 inch frame, so no touch screen either. They are keeping it classy. Connectivity and storage, it's like the digital photo frame equivalent of a celebrity. It only deals with iCloud and Google Photos and absolutely no USBs or SD cards and no built-in storage. So it's like a supermodel, but without any baggage. Extras, uh, this might sound like a diva move, but there's no motion sensor. It's too busy looking fabulous to notice if you're there or not. But it does support video and sound because obviously it's not just a pretty face. So who's this for? 
Well, this one is for photo aficionados, the pixel peepers, and anyone who believes that when it comes to image quality, you've got to aim for the stars. It's like the digital photo frame version of a gourmet meal. It's not about quantity, it's about quality. Yes, there's no motion sensor and you have to rely on the cloud, but when your photos look that good, who cares? The next one is my recommendation for the best frame, and this is the NYX Play Smart Photo Frame 10.1 inch touch. So this is like the tech savvy younger sibling in the digital photo frame family. Compact, bright, and doesn't waste electricity. It's practically a millennial in a photo frame body. Some of the key features, the resolution and screen flaunting, a resolution of 1200 by 800 pixel in a 10.55 by 7.4 inch space, which is pretty much like trying to fit all the talent of a rock band into a ukulele. And yes, it's got a touch screen because apparently buttons are last season. Connectivity and storage, Wi-Fi check, eight gig of built-in storage check, uh, but let's subtract a little for the pre-installed software. It's like buying a box of chocolates and finding out someone's already had a few. Also, no USB or SD slots because who needs them when you've got the cloud. Extras, motion sensor, music player, video capability, and access to all your favorite social media via apps. It's like the Swiss Army knife of digital photo frames if Swiss Army knives could display your holiday pictures. So who's it for? Well, if you've ever looked at a digital photo frame and thought, I wish this thing just knew when I was in the room. Well, your wish has been granted. Perfect for both tech newbies and seasoned gadget aficionados, this frame makes navigating your photos as easy as swiping right on Tinder. Just don't expect to plug in your old memory stick or SD card. This frame is living in the cloud now and it's not coming back. The next one is my recommendation for the most versatile option. This is the Photo Spring 10 digital photo frame. So this frame is where versatility meets style. It's like the chameleon of the digital photo frame world, ready to adapt to your aesthetic whims and functional needs. Some of the key features, the resolution and screen, this digital art piece boasts a resolution of 1280 by 800 pixels, served on a generous 13.1 by 9.9 .9 inch platter or 11.1 or 7.9 inches for the inner frame connoisseurs. The screen is like a window to your memories, clear and bright with touch capabilities to make navigation a breeze. Connectivity and storage, well, it's 2023, so of course it has Wi-Fi, but here's the kicker. It's packing a whopping 16 gig of built-in storage. USB and SD slots, check and check as well. Wanna tap into the cloud? check as well. It's got you covered with services like Google Photos, Flickr, and iCloud. Extras, video playback, remotes. No, you won't find one here, but who needs a remote when you've got a touch screen and an array of versatile features at your fingertips? So who is it for? Well, it's perfect for those who love a bit of variety in their life with its dual frame modes and robust connectivity options. If you want to watch a video, go ahead. Prefer to scroll through your photos? Do you, and with the sturdy platform stand, it's like having a mini art gallery right on your table in either landscape or portrait glory. All right, so those are my recommendations there. I've tried to include a degree of variety there to cater to whatever you're looking for. If you do have any questions though, drop them down below, and if you found value in this video, it really helps if you drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.